The summit of the Council of CIS leaders with the participation of Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan was accompanied by an attempt by the Azerbaijani leader to accuse Armenia of glorifying fascism. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev stated that the installation of Gargi Nujde's monument in Yerevan attests to this. Pashinyan in turn noted that Nujde was an active participant in the fight against Turkish encroachments and was responsible in 1918 for an important part of the anti-Turkish front. I considered in a appropriate to use this format to distort history and introduce tension into the climate of an important meeting, Pashinyan said. Also during the summit, Pashinyan presented a book on Artsakh to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Meanwhile, the international conference entitled Cooperation for Justice and Peace was held in Stepanagert on Friday and was attended by over 150 representatives from 30 countries. As of remarks, Armenian Deputy Foreign Minister Shavash Kocharyan noted that Azerbaijani ex-president Haydar Aliyev had recognized and negotiated with the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic, whereas now Azerbaijan is avoiding direct talks with and pretending that there is no such entity as Artsakh. Karim Van Overman a member of the Belgian Senate for the New Flemish Alliance, in his turn, noted that to be in Artsakh is our right and duty. We must be here and support the courageous people of Artsakh. He touched also upon his being blacklisted in Azerbaijan. I'm not bothered by the fact that I'm on the blacklist. There are 195 countries in the world. I can't go to Azerbaijan. There are plenty of 194 countries for one life, he said. California Senator Anthony Portantino, in his remarks, noted that the California State District has recognized Artsakh's sovereignty, and with this, we have affirmed how important the establishment of relations between California and Artsakh are. An address was also delivered by Iraqi analyst Fikrat al-Baghdadi, who expressed the hope that bloodshed will not happen again and peace will reign. According to him, people have the right to self-determination to independently decide their future based on national, heavenly and international law, and no one in the world can impose his will on other people. American Armenian singer Cher tweeted recalling the Armenian genocide against the backdrop of the aggravation of the situation in Syria. Sorry to keep harping about Kurds, but I've heard about bloodthirsty Turks who tortured and murdered almost 2 million Armenians since I was 11. Also heard it in Armenia. Turk soldiers are still bloodthirsty. Now they will commit genocide on the Kurds with Trump's blessing. God, she tweeted. Armenia's embassy in Damascus and Council General in Aleppo are in constant contact with the Armenian community organizations in Kamishli and other northern regions of Syria, the Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs tweeted on Thursday. Diplomatic missions of Armenia are working on providing our compatriots with temporary accommodation and first aid as needed. Man Picture Studios' new movie will expand the story of aid to Armenians beyond the Atlantic. The Mirror Spectator reported. According to the source, American Samaritans is about the enormous assistance that the United States government, missionary organizations, and people have rendered to Armenia during and after 1915. This film, as the previous one, will pursue educational purposes. Our goal is to tell the story of the unprecedented humanitarian operation conducted by America 100 years ago. We also want to show that Armenians try to pay back in their way, Yerevan-based film producer Manvel Saribekian said. 